Of course it didn't. Why would it? This guy will help us. <sighs> okay, I don't know which one to do. I don't know what effect this is. So I just gotta take a whole crap shoot. There we go. Okay. I did the right thing. It was par it's paralysis. That's what it was. I can't believe they can't heal that at a hospital. I guess that makes sense, actually. <laughs> um, okay, now, let us look at the guide. Now we got that handled. <sighs> Go talk to the people around town until you have a number. Okay, I gotta find a person who's got a number of the Stoic Club. Take that, you piece of shit. That's what I'm talking about.
Well, that guy's a stalker. You look so serious. You're in summer. It's a dream paradise. Relax and have some fun. Oh, shit. There's a blue cop there. I don't think that's good. I wonder why such serious-looking kids as you would come to a resort town. You guys are spoiling the atmosphere. You're marshing the mellow. Um, the sky's blue and the sun's high. Press it here so high. It'll make you turn blue. That's summer's. Okay, nope. A Jamaican looking man inside a house. Okay, so that must be on the right side of town. It's not just a random person that gives you the number. Oh, there's a parrot. It's a minor bird. Or a minor bird. <laughs> the guy next to me is really bugging me. Not Jamaican looking. This guy looks Jamaican looking. Do you know the store club in, in, in Summers? You need to call a secret number for a reservation if you want to get in, man. What? Yeah, I'll give you number you the secret number. I warn you though, it's a strange place, man. You Jamaica me crazy. <laughs> A oh, fuck. Fucking sign. Always gotta jump in. Fucking gangbang us. Uh. There we go. You're doing fairly well. Exterminator spray. This is not the Stoic Club. Please be on your way. What? Oh, we have to call it and enter the Stoic Club first. So let's go to the shop and call it there. there should be a payphone in there. Hello, this is the Stoic Club. Oh, Ness, sir. Would you like to make a reservation? Certainly. We are looking forward to having you here. Thank you. The Secret Stoic Club. Or Club Stoic, as it is also known. Okay. Very weird. There's just a rock on a stage and nothing else. Not what I expected. Alright, let's talk to the owner. I'm assuming it's this guy. Uh, I don't think it is. Magic cake. Well, I can only uh, I can only guess what that must be. Oh, sorry, I was sleeping.
You guys can't envision the final collapse of capitalism? Incredible. Didactically speaking, seminal evidence seems to explicate the fact that your repudiation of entropy supports my theory of space-time synthesis. Of this, I am irrefutably confident. I finally awakened the enemy, the true self. The patrons of this club are able to stare into their own soul hard enough to burn a hole into their psyche. I'm now comfortable enough to stare at the real me, the true self, and burn the impression into my superego. I want to be in this comfort zone at any time, all the time, at no time. My id is telling me, what? what? Magic cake? You came all this way just to eat my magic cake? Yes. Right? I see. Okay. Why don't you stop by a cart out on the beach later? <laughs> it's totally freaking weed. Let's go do some weed! <laughs> Where the, where's the cart on the beach? I think it's over near that guy uh, with a sombrero that I saw earlier. Just a guess. Not a... We've got some real spectacular things. What do you want? Uh, you really should eat here. Nope, that wasn't the cart that she meant. Clearly. That guy <laughs> looks... Sunburn. Okay, that was not the cart. Oh shit, there's a blue policeman up there. He's, uh, he's on the patrol for weed. Oh, there's the cart. There's the cart. I don't know who told you. You came from far off just to eat my magic cake? I thought making cakes would be the best career for me. Dig in. I used all leftover materials. This is a very special magic cake. And into the weed vision we go. <laughs> also known as Snoop Vision. Hey -o. Wait. Did it work? Why didn't it work? Hold on. Smoke weed every day. There we go. <laughs> now it's working. Ness had a dream, very clear and very strange. Oh. Dalam, in the Far East. The Palace of Pooh, the Crown Prince. <laughs> the Palace of Pooh. <laughs> Prince Pooh. The time has now come for you to undertake your final trial. Go to the Palace of Emptiness and endure this final test. I am praying for your success in this final stage of your training. Oh, sweet. We get to be the, the last samurai. <laughs> Pooh, open the chest. Wow! There's a brain food lunch inside. Wow! There's a cup of life noodles inside. <laughs> Wow! There's some brainstone inside. <laughs> Hello? Is that you, Ness? Why are you disgusting? Why are you disguising your voice like that? Uh, who are you pretending to be? Oh, well, it's not a big deal. I suppose you need to have a sense of humor at a time like this. I deposited $2,300 in your bank account. Great, now he knows about our bank account.
Are we? F is this island like floating or something? What's this guy? pre -put. The first house has stuff in it that I can take, apparently. I'll just be uh be taking these. Wow! There's a bottle of water inside. Wow, there's a jar of des deli sauce inside of it. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, whoa, we're loaded here. Wow, there's a bowl of rice gruel inside. Wow, there's a bottle of water inside. It's like a... Uh, it's the uh, it's the sound that the kazoo kid makes. Wow! Fun, 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 fun. See a group of ninja-looking bunny statues guarding the cave entrance. You can't enter yet. Head to the east. Talk to the star master. Climb to the top of the cliff where you can take face a series of tests. If you try to do the test on your own and fail, head down the mountain and go back to the palace to start over. You have nice eyes. You must be Prince Pooh. Long ago, I completed moot training. I wanted to show you a higher level of intelligence. However, I'm still realizing and learning at this high level. I'll see you again. So long. Okay. That was creepy. Um... Ah, Prince Pooh, I am a messenger from your master. He sent me to tell you that you must stop your meditation immediately. Prince Pooh, you must come back with me instead of staying in a palace such as this. Your master wishes it. Please, rise, Prince. Your Highness, you must give up this trial for now. I believe what I say, it is the truth. Prince Pooh, I am the spirit of your ancient lineage. To complete your trial, I am going to break your legs. <laughs> you will lose the use of them. Do you accept this? Shit. This is fucking dark, man. So, Prince Pooh, you cannot walk as your legs are broken. Next, I will tear your arms off. I shall then take your arms and feed them to the cr- They can't eat arms. They don't have the- They don't have the- the teeth structure, the jaw structure, whatever you call it, to break apart bone. Or gristle off of freaking human. Do you accept this? Ah, Prince Pooh, without legs and arms, you can only lie there. Now I'll cut your ears off. You do not mind my taking your hearing away, do you? Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, no legs, no arms, and no sound. By floating words through the air, I must ask you, do you care if I take your eyes? Do you want to live in eternal darkness? I shall steal your sight. Do you accept this? So, Prince Pooh, now I can only communicate directly with your mind. Your mind is all you have left. In the end, I will take your mind. 
though you probably don't want to allow that, do you? So you can't answer. You can't even move. Are you sad? Are you lonely? If you lose your mind, you also lose any feelings of sadness. Do you accept this? I will take your mind, Prince Pooh. Know that I will possess it. Prince Pooh, you have now completed your training. The old master must be so pleased. Hurry now and return to the palace. Oh yeah, freaking last samurai time. I'm probably gonna be asked to kill him then, or some shit. Training. There is nothing more for me to teach you from the holy writings. Prince Pooh, I shall relay a message to you from eternity. The evil entity that controls all wickedness is preparing for the greatest struggle of all time. The only ones who can challenge the entity are three boys and one girl. One named Ness is the leader of the four. One of the boys is you, Prince Pooh. Now that you've completed your training, search out Ness at once. For all beings, for the Earth herself, I pray for growth in the night of the four. Oh, baby! Holy shit. Level 18? I've now got teleport beta. Whoa. Uh, well, that was quick. I thought I was going to have to walk all the way back, but apparently not. My name is Pooh. I am the one who will fight beside you. I am the servant of Ness. I will obey Ness. Ness, my life is in your hands. All four of us are finally reunited. Or united, whatever you call it. Who joined you? Cool. All right. Alright, so let's go to the... We want to go to the museum next and show the guard a ruby, apparently. Tsk, 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 you should know better. You cannot get in without paying admission. It's $3 per person. You'll pay, won't you? Please go right in. Ask someone inside for more detailed information. Let's save here from just for a. Uh, I don't know why. This room is being remodeled, so I can't show it to you. Oh, the samurai kid is here. Will he be giving me that gem? <laughs> yes. You're such a good student. I'm impressed by your passion for learning. Come in. 
Um, Are there monsters in here? Shattered men. Man, whatever. Uh, they're weak to freeze, so we use gamma. Jeff will just shoot it, and who has what? Freeze beta. Wow, he leveled up twice from that? Three times from that. Wow. That's pretty decent. Alright, let's use a picnic lunch on Paula. We gotta give a picnic lunch to Pooh. Oh, we only recovered six HP. What? All right. Well, then I'll just give him life up then. There we go. All right. Check the exhibit. Pooh read the hieroglyphs. To fight against the invaders, we build this pyramid fortress. However, your efforts, our efforts were futile and we lost. Nonetheless, our pyramid was protected by the gods of Scaraba. The invaders will be reborn in every millennium and, ever, and will attack again. Even now, the invaders hide beyond space and time and build their evil stronghold. A place out of time is beyond the dark and is even farther lost from the beyond the lost underworld. The deep darkness is shrouded. It is without light. Only one with the Hawkeye can pierce the dark. The Sphinx now watches over everything, waiting for the coming of a truly brave hero. Plus minus 4325. What? Those coordinates? Dance in front of the Sphinx. Ness, let's go to Scaraba. The pyramid is the key. Okay. Um. Wait one second. Here's a picture of the hieroglyphs just for you. It's a reward for studying so hard. Use it in your human civilization class. Ha ha ha. <laughs> I 
Hello? Is this Mr. Fork of the Scaraba Cultural Museum? Doesn't sound like you. Well, I'll quickly tell you my story, because I'm busy, busy, busy. I found something so extraordinary that mere words could not do it justice. What do you mean, who am I? Don't you recognize my voice? It's me, Mr. Spoon, from the Foresight Museum of Natural History. Look, Mr. Fork, I'm not exaggerating this find. I'm telling you, it's fantastic. It's outrageous. Click beep. Well, we don't even know what it is, because you're hung up. Okay, so we gotta go back to Foreside. It says, before doing anything, make sure you have a lot of food items in your inventory. The next area you'll be going has some very difficult monsters. We also need an exit mouse, um, which we can get in the House of Southern Onet, which I had no idea you could get from there. Um, first I think we should sleep. Let's sleep in the hotel. Ah, oh, fuck. We're getting attacked by a taxi cab. There we go. Have I been dropping frames recently? Oh shit. Yeah, I have. Why am I dropping frames all of a sudden? Whoa, 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 okay. This is weird. And to top things off, my thing is out of sync. What the fuck is going on here? Damn it! 